I think we all appreciate when we encounter people who are, you know, very successful, be it in business, be it in athlete, athletics, be it in any endeavor, but they in turn are very humble about it. It, it doesn't go to their head and it becomes, at least for me, uh, somewhat upsetting when people who are so successful uh, do tend to let everyone know that they know they are successful and they are the best of the best and no one can really compare to them. It just makes me crazy um, because they don't appreciate just how blessed they are. And I, I often think it's true for all of us in our country that we would do well just to stop and think about how blessed we truly are. You know, uh, you know, we as a, a parish travel down to Honduras, you know, uh, several times a year, and we've done this for over 20 years. And when you see how people in other places live and what a struggle it is for them to be able just to survive, you can't come away from that, at least I can't come away from that, without thinking about just how blessed I am. And also, it, it causes me to wonder, so, why have I been so blessed? You know, and, and we're all familiar with the world in which we live and all of the situations people face and the countless refugees in our world in so many countries that have been driven out of their own countries and live in refugee camps in Africa and the Middle East and elsewhere. You know, that's something that we've never had to experience. It's never been a part of our, our culture. It's never been a part of our lives. And it brings me back again to just recognize how blessed I am. I don't know why I'm so blessed. I don't know why all of us are so blessed, but we certainly need to be thankful for it and, and recognize that it's, it's not about us. You know, it's really not about us. It's just a blessing of time and place and where we're at and um, along with that, being humble about it and grateful for it, you know, it also helps us to realize, you know, the responsibility that we have to share our blessings with others, you know. And I know in my parish and our parish and many parishes, people do a wonderful job supporting Catholic charities, you know, supporting countless charities around the community, whether it's with food or being there or being present or ministering to people in some way or other, you know, and, and that truly is a blessing, but it all flows from recognizing we've truly been blessed and we have a responsibility to share those blessings with others. So thank you. And the greatest blessing you bring to the church, believe me, is your prayers. You're homebound. I know many of you aren't able to get out of the home. What do you do? You might say, well, how can I help? You can help in a huge way just by your prayers, because that's what the church needs more than anything. It needs prayers. So may God bless you all.